It's Joe D. Join me. Let's share another beer together. <laughs> Today's beer is a, a special beer to me. They're all special. They're beer. Beer is very special. The beer is very... We need to make a beer allegiance or something, right? Like, a, you know, yeah, you have the... Uh, I went to a, a private Christian school as a kid, and they had an, uh, an allegiance to the Christian flag uh, an, uh, anthem. And, you know, you did your one to the American flag. We need to have one for beer. Put your hand over your heart and say an allegiance to beer. <laughs> uh, beer sent to me by a dear friend, uh, Mark from Video Beer Reviews, Duck Rabbit Milk Stout. Okay. And this one's out of North Carolina. Uh, where are they out of? They're out of uh, Farmville, North Carolina. Proudly handmade in small batches. Love it. Love it. These people sound like they're taking very good care of the way they make a beer. This is 12 fluid ounces. I love the cap. Tons of detail in that cap. I am loving it, loving it, loving it. Let me give you a quick, quick definition from Beer Advocate on milk or sweet stouts, okay? Uh, milk slash sweet stouts are basically stouts that have a larger amount of resid residual dextrins and unfermented, and fermented sugars that give the brew more body and sweetness that, uh, that counters the roasted character. Milk stouts are very similar to sweet stouts, but brewers add unfermented sugars, usually lactose, uh, to the brew kettle to uh, add body and some sweetness, okay? Which is duckrabbitbrewery.com um, slash beers. And at the bottom there is the duck rabbit uh, milk stout. Uh, it says it's a traditional full-bodied stout uh, brewed with lactose slash milk sugar, the subtle sweetness uh, imparted by the lactose balances the sharpness of the highly roasted grains, which give this delicious beer its black color, okay? And they also have some other beers. They have a porter, a uh, brown ale, and an amber ale, which are all near and dear to my heart. <laughs> Okay, getting back to that theme again. See, we need an anthem for beer, man. Don't we? Don't you think? Like, we need, like, I pledge allegiance to the... <laughs> anyway, man. I thank Mark for sending this one to me. I love to try regional beers. And... <laughs> You kidding me? Let's not let's not kid each other, okay? I love beer. I'd love to try any beer, all right? But uh, beers that you just cannot get nationwide or anything, really, really niche beers to a certain area. I love to get my hands on. On Beer Advocate, 419 reviews, B plus, uh, 5.7% ABV. Let's get to business, man. Business, okay, when you say it like that and you're ready to get down to drinking beer, it's business, all right? Sound it out. <laughs> business. Yeah. Let's see, here we go. Let's see if we get some smoke here, dog. Man, I am... Ah! I still got a little smoke out of that. It wasn't great. I need more practice. Can you believe it? need more practice either that or I need another opener I was checking out this one girl on YouTube and she had an opener and it just went like that and it like took it was like this almost looked like a half a can or something and it went over the top like that and it just took the cap right off I was like that's awesome I forget what country she was in she was a beer reviewer of Poland a Polish female beer reviewer Anyway, let's <laughs> let's get to the beer. Let's see here, man. Of course, it's going to be dark. It's a stout. I'm expecting a little bit of a creaminess to it. So far, the head's not looking real creamy, though. The head looks very much... I always describe it like a sponge. Okay? looks very spongy to me. Uh, just looks just like the the side of the head here 
looks just like the side of a sponge. And the top does too. The top looks just like the sides. Okay. Actually, the head looks just like your some of your lighter loggers. Okay. It doesn't really have a creamy consistency to it. Um, the beer itself, very, very, very thick looking, very dark, dense looking. Cool. It's a poor. Uh, <laughs> I saw a porter here, so I said it was almost said it was a porter, but it's really a stout. Anyway, very consistent with uh, a lot of other stouts. Nice uh, kind of roasted malt. Mm hmm. Uh, kind of nutty even. Mm hmm. Nice roasted. That's the beer porn part of it. The, mm, yeah, baby. Mm, -hmm, yeah, mm, oh, baby. Mm, mm. Yeah, that's the beer porn part. <laughs> okay, never mind, man. <laughs> that was the, okay, close your eyes, kids. <laughs> Out of control. Anyway, this beer is, uh, it's pretty good. It should be served. MCBA recommends uh, 50 to 55 degrees. It's definitely in that temperature range. Um, you know, it's... Uh, let me see. The the ABV was 5.7. Um, you know, I'm going to have to give this a one thumb. I'm going to give this a one thumb up. It's... Uh, it's very... It's definitely not dry. Um, kind of a medium in the dryness. Uh, the aftertaste stays with you a little bit. I'm not getting nothing on the back of my teeth or anything. Sometimes that's kind of nice to get. You get that nice, uh, the flavors coming back for you. Mm. At the same time, it's a nice kind of... If you like stouts, you could drink a hundred of these things. I mean, you're going to end up pretty hammered. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. It is 5.7, right? Uh, but at the same time, you could drink... Whoa, way too many of these things. If you're going to invite me, or you're a Bogarder, and if you're a Bogarder, I'm going to label you a Bogarder if you don't invite me. I swear to God. No. <laughs> anyway... It's a good beer. I'll give it a solid... It's a solid one thumb up. Solid one thumb. Uh, it... Hmm. It's kind of a little watery at the same time. Um, hmm. Yeah, there's just something about it I can't quite put my finger on, but it, it, it's keeping me from giving it a two thumb. Because it's 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 very tasty. I can taste that roastiness. I can taste um, it has a nice malt flavor. Uh, it has a nice sweetness to it. <clears throat> There's something in the body of it, though. Something in the body. See that? That's why I keep swirling it around. Something in the body. It's very it has a very like light body to it. Something in that. I think if it had a little more creaminess, I would give it a two thumb. Solid two thumb. For me, it's it's a little waterier than it needs to be. If it were, I don't know, something in that body. Anyway, you try it. You let me know what you think, okay? It's Joe D, man. Take it easy. Peace. Enjoy your beers. Let me know what you think, man. Put your in the comments, man. All right? I want to hear from you. All right. Peace.